welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to be working on this 20 by 20 canvas and you can see I've already prepped this canvas because I am going to be doing a new technique. Um, I had a subscriber suggest to me to watch another um, artist channel. His name is called Dwight. He, his channel is Dwight Pores. I will link him in the description box. Um, and, uh, my subscriber was saying that he created some really, um, cool effects on his, um, pores with cells. And so I went over to his channel and, um, watched a whole bunch of his videos and he has this technique that he calls dump and swirl. And so after watching him do it, um, numerous times, it has, um, seemed to me that the concept is kind of taking the pearl cell technique that we do with the extreme sheen and kind of reverse engineering it. Um, and what I mean by that is if you've watched my videos or any videos that is demonstrating the deco art extreme sheen, the pearl technique, you, you layer your colors in a cup like you would normally, but you put this huge puddle of extreme sheen down and then you pour the colors um, on top of that. And then the extreme sheen comes up through it. In this technique, you put your puddles of metallics down um, and then you flood it with a non-metallic. And um, it makes really good use of negative space and it creates these uh, really cool cells. Now, in my opinion, these cells are more on the side of lacing than on the side of like the extreme sheen cells because these cells are very small. Um, they're very concentrated and oh, just overall the look of them is more like lacing. Um, but it's a beautiful effect and the and the greatest difference, I think, is when you use the pearl cell technique. I'm really not sure what we're calling that. Um, I just refer to it as the pearl cell technique. Um, you have a solid one color of cells. In this, you get multiple colors of cells. So that's really nice. Um, so that's what I mean by kind of like reverse engineering. It's kind of like flip opposite. Now to thin my paints, I use the same ratios that I use um, for the pearl cell. So I didn't use any tube paints in this one. Um, so all my paints are thinned, one ounce Floetrol, one ounce paint, um, and like three squirts of water. But um, yeah, so they're very thin paints, and that's why I personally feel like they're more towards lacing than sales. Um, but you be the judge of that. So, in his um, demonstration of his technique, and since this appears to be his kind of original concept, I'm, I want to give him credit. You guys, if you enjoyed this, um, or even if you don't, he does other techniques, and he posts regular, so um, go support him. But um, in it, he kind of does this um, pre kind of prepping of his canvas. I don't know if this is necessary. It just might be what he prefers. So after I do this a couple of times, I might um, opt to not have this. But for now, because I'm demonstrating what, what I've learned from him, I will follow as he did. Um, so I'm gonna go over my color palette for my overall like flood color. It's going to be the Artist Law Flow Acrylic in black. And I've already tried this once on this canvas. I had about, I would say I had about seven, between seven and eight ounces of black paint. And it wasn't enough. So I have mixed up 18 ounces. I don't think I will use all that. Um, I'm certain I won't use all that. But that's how much I've got mixed up on hand. Um... So we have that, and then I have the DecoArt Americana Premium Acrylic Paint. This is Primary Magenta. If you've ever used these paints, you know these paints are very thin. Um, they're probably thinner than the Flow Acrylic. 
So for that reason, I didn't consider them to be a tube paint. They're more like a craft paint. Um, and so that's why they're mixed one to one. I also have the Viridian Green here. So these are non-metallics, but I'm still gonna put them in the puddle um, just because they work. I know they work. It worked in my other one. It was just um, the composition wasn't what I wanted it. So that's why we're redoing it and we're redoing it with the exact same colors. Then I have the Deco Art Extreme, um, the, good lord, not the Deco Art Extreme Sheen, the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. I have it in deep sapphire and copper. And then I have, these colors are already mixed to their correct ratios. I have the Craft Smart Premium Ultra Bright Metallic Paint in bright silver. And I have the Deco Art Extreme Sheen in antique bronze. And these are instead of trying to half the bottle i just mix up the whole bottle at once and then i put two ounces back into the container so um these are mixed appropriately so and i might actually enjoy pouring them out of these little containers more than the cup you know um so i'm going to start putting my puddle down and We will just see what we can do. If you're in a hurry, you will probably want to fast forward this process because it is quite tedious. I'm just going to let you know ahead of time. Um, but if you enjoy my chit chat, then you can stay for the chit chat. But let's see. I know what I'm gonna do. I have figured out that my counter is unlevel. But if I smush a little cup, I smush a little, cup and put it here it kind of like levels it out a bit and my paint doesn't go to one side okay so where are we whoa my cups one disadvantage of using paper cups which really is not a big deal is they get um what to call it um oh what's the word fragile maybe they they don't after a while of the paint sitting in there the sides get i cannot remember the word you think english wasn't my first language weak the sides get weak <laughs> goodness so let's see what is there to talk about I wanted to tell y'all about this lady she come into my office yesterday she was if you don't know my job entails working with victims and witnesses of like um, crimes that would be classified as felonies, usually violent crimes. Um, and it's what I've done for a very long time and I enjoy my job. So I get to meet all these really cool, fascinating people. And I had a lady come into my office yesterday and she was a victim of a crime. And um, she, um, was sit in my office and I have a lot of my art displayed in my office and um, there was this piece of art I had it was actually a set there were two pieces to it um, and they, it was like one of the first pieces I, I did um, it was, it's an old piece and um, she just kept like 
remarking she's like i love that painting so much like it's so beautiful i love it and she was just going on and on and she asked me if i would sell it to her and i'm like no i won't sell it to you um just because i'm not comfortable like i met her in the course of my job and because i am a public servant you can't um you can't profit off of the time that like if i'm on if i'm on time on for the city like if i'm on the time clock for the city i cannot um i cannot profit from anything personal while i'm on that time does that make sense hopefully it makes sense um so i was like no i'm sorry i can't sell it to you and she was like so sad she was like i really really would like it um and she began to speak to me how she had um, mental health issues and um, whenever she has instances that her mental health is not um, as it should be, she likes to look at art because it calms her down. And so um, she was in my office for a good while, maybe like 30 minutes or so. And after speaking with her, um, she just seemed like genuinely, um, genuinely that she enjoyed that piece of art and that it was really significant to her. So whenever she went to leave, I said, I cannot sell this to you, but I can give it to you. So I gifted it to her and it was the sweetest thing. She just started crying. And it just made me so happy to, like, be able to give that to her. And that, you know, that she felt um, comfortable enough to, like, speak about having um, problems with her mental health. And that, you know, that art helped her in that way. Um, and it was just, it was just nice. I'm going to flood this now. It was just nice to be able to um, to do that for her. So she said she was going to put it in her bedroom so she could look at it. I said, okay, it's yours, so you can do what you want to with it. I didn't think I was going to use all this, but I did, and it's okay. All right, so let's grab this really quick and move it this away. That's what it is, y'all. I can pour a circle. It's my counter. It's not balanced. All those times I'm criticizing myself. Okay, now, the swirl part comes in when you do this, and the black is going to go over all the color, right? I know you got, oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm tipping, I'm going fast, so if the cells start to form, I'll already have. So it, went, it goes really fast. Like, you just move it, move it, move it, move it as fast as you can. You don't want a whole lot of excess paint on here. Look at those beautiful cells, y'all. I'm going to try not to disturb the paint this on my paper because I will dip some, um, I will dip some, oh, are you kidding me? Okay, let's see what we can do to rectify this. Uh... This, this corner is bare, so I'm going to pick this up and put it down. Let's see if I can take some of the black. There's a little bit left in this container. I had got it all. I'm going to put over top of this. And 
it's kind of like smoothing it out. I don't know if I can move it without disturbing too many of my cells. Let's see. Let's cross our fingers and see. Anyway, look at the paper, y'all. It's so pretty. I'm going to dip some um, ceramic tiles. coasters I'm trying to pull this black to the center so that it'll form on those other edges and straighten up my wobbly cells strongly that I have too much of my black left in this area but if I try to pull it anymore I think it's going to disturb my cells it's going slow and not the foreground. If I had kept pouring instead of stopping to fix that corner, I would have been A-OK, -okay, but I stopped. I stopped pouring off paint because I'm a goober. A goober is a peanut. That's not an ugly word. understand why oh my goodness I just don't know what to do with it y'all I don't know what to do with it like I said I do wish there was more here but you know what Elise Fourier I think that's her name I could be saying her last name wrong but I think it's right she does like these pores and then she paints things over them like she keeps kind of like negative space or whatever and she paints them and it would be so cool if like i like painted some scene here not entirely sure that my artistic ability reaches beyond paint pouring 
Okay, that's a lot. It does, but it would take a lot of time and it's just tedious and I get annoyed easily. Um, <laughs> but it would be cool. It would be cool. I love this so much. Okay, y'all. I'm going to stop um, gushing over my own work. I am going to set this to the side because there are still sales popping up. So I'm going to set this to the side, let it marinate. I'm going to dip me some coasters because I think these um, colors are so pretty and the paper is so pretty, you guys. I'm going to dip me some coasters. I'm going to clean up my mess because I don't have anybody to clean my mess up for me. Um, yeah, it's just a sad life, right? Anyway, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll come back and I'm going to show you some close-ups and we'll see what it's done. And then I'm I know I'm gonna mix up some more paint and we're gonna do this again. Yes, we are. Okay. Okay, you guys, I am so sorry, but I set the piece aside um last night when I painted it and I meant to go back and do close-ups when it was still wet. And time just got away from me and I forgot to um so this piece is dried now so I'm sorry I didn't show you guys close-ups when it was wet but really it's not anything really changed um, it's really beautiful though I'm gonna show you here like look at how just incredibly intricate the the colors just like or like gradients and the rainbow and um, this was just a great combination of colors I think and yeah I will show you these spots right here um, a little mosquito got on my paint and like dragged across um, so I, it was still like semi wet so I just um, dabbed on some more black paint that was like mixed to right ratio and everything and I thought it would be okay it when you look at it at a certain angle it shows um, and then other times it doesn't show I still think that the piece is um, attractive even though it's got those little blips on it because just looking at it face on you can't really um you can't see those corrections um and i'm glad i was able to save it so um yeah and i there's can you see right through here there's like a lighter color comes through and um just makes it really 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 pretty i think um so this was my second attempt at this technique the first attempt did not work um, it did work. I just didn't put enough of the dump color down and I didn't, I couldn't get my whole canvas covered, covered. So that is, um, one thing I would say is however much you think you need, go a little bit more, um, and then a little bit more because you'll dump it off anyway. Um, cause it's, it, it's hard to like make up the difference when you don't have enough on it. And you can't just pour more on once you start um, going. So, anyway, this is beautiful. I'm so very happy with this. And I want to show you a few more things. Because there is so much runoff. Um, I took this little, what is this? A little 4x4. Four four. Let's look in my stash and see which one. 6x6? Six six? No. No? Not a 6x6. Six six. Y'all got some... I don't know. I can't find. I guess that was the last one of that one. Hmm. Oh well. Oh no, no, no. I have some black ones. Do I have some? No, I don't. I'm a. I'm. I'm just losing my mind. I think this is five by five or four by four. Probably. If that's a six by six, this must be a five by five. Anyway, I just dipped this in the runoff. Dips are. There is an artist named Fiona. And um, she is like the queen of doing dips. And she makes some really pretty, pretty um, pieces. So I um, I try to do dips when I can on my runoff. And the pattern is a bit subtle, 
but it's it's pretty i think it's very floral dips usually do come off in a bit of a floral motif um and they're just nice so that is one way that i use my um runoff is i'll do a dip and these are um those wooden circles and i dip these as well um look at that isn't it beautiful i'm gonna resin these and they can be like really big coasters i think that will look super nice i'll have to paint the back so i wish they wouldn't put these stickers on them and they are so hard to get off if anybody has a really good suggestion on how to get those stickers off please give it to me because it just i can't get them all off there's always just a, a bit left on them but this look oh, is so beautiful and those are the kind of things you can only get from dips um here's another one i did four in total this is really pretty i think this one is my favorite the first one in this one look at that oh it's so pretty so um yeah so i have a little more than just this project from all that paint and then i got let's see those three cups were my runoff i'm gonna have to try to do something with it um so yeah anyway that is that and i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you have a great morning day evening night wherever you are um and please do subscribe to dwight pores um i think you'll really enjoy his content and um yeah so i will speak to you all very soon bye